Okay? So all we want you to do is tell everybody what you see. If you like it, tell everybody, all your friends and family, about what you saw today, and tell them about it. Just so we can get their, you know, their opinion too. Okay? So how you get it for free is this. Um, basically what we do is uh, we have these things here. Okay? And um, all I want you to do is just to write down people that you know, your best friend, something like that, on these weekends. Now, I don't really need a whole lot of information other than I need, I need them to be married, okay, or if they're a couple, okay. Um, you know, we need them to be homeowners, okay, we're buying a home. And we need them to also be working, or if they're retired, from to be retired, okay. Um, so all I want you to do is I'm going to give you a little sheet here. And I just want you to write down as many people as you can think of, okay. On that one. Now I'm going to give you one too, because you probably don't know everybody she knows, correct? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hand you one as well, and I just want you to write down. Okay. And then we're going to have a little bit of competition here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, back to the left. Now we're going to have the car, and I'm going to get the rainbow now. Do you mind if I let myself back in? Okay. So then I leave the house and I stay outside, whether I call my dad on the phone, that's for about five or ten minutes, I leave them in the house to write down people. I don't want to go and I don't want to distract them by pulling out a rainbow out of the box while they're in the kitchen and doing what they're, what they're doing, right? And then I come back in, and once I come back in, I'll start talking to them and see it's so funny. They're like, you really want to write people down? This is more they're doing. <laughs> to write down people is just like, okay. <laughs> I can say it's so simple, you know what I mean? The thing you can't get me, but it's a simple task. Now, once I come back into the home, I sit down with them, and I'm like, oh, how many you got on there? Ten? Three. Three? Only three? I thought you were walking. A few. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have no idea. Okay, so here's, here's what we do. Now, in order to get one of these for free, we just need to get on the phone. So who's the first person you got there?
going to go to him. So we're going to make it a competition. I used to like to put on the youth team center. Who can get the most of the first? The husband or the wife? And he'll be, a lot of times it's him. I'm mean, serious. A lot of times it's him. And so once I get my four, my four okays, my, or I instant set them in the home, then I call them into the office and give them to the marketing director. Okay? All right, thank you guys. Now, at the end of my presentation, when I at the end of my presentation, you guys sit down. Sorry. Don't ask you to read my name. Okay, I won't. Is it Gardner or something? Yeah, I'm going to ask you to read my name. No, so after I do that, let me get up front in the presentation. I get eight, ten names on the sheet, and then I qualify them out. Okay, it's so important, guys. Take the lead sheet from the customer. You qualify them out. I ask her, now who's the first name you have? She told me. What do they do? She told me. They own their home, right? Okay? I'm qualifying the leads, and I'm getting all the information on the team at the same time. Does that make sense? So important. So, so important. Okay? Um, once I'm done, and then I go show the rainbow, here's what I've got. I've gotten four OKs, or at least an instance set in the home, correct? Okay. Call them into the office. I'm at the end of my presentation, and here's the deal. How do they get the offer Four presentations. Four presentations with eight referrals on the sheet, correct? How do they get the rain set? Four in 48 hours. What have I already created? If I got them up front with four and four, I've already created that they get the awful mate, they get the, <laughs> the rain mate, and they also get a rain set, correct? So they're on the edge, whether or not they're going to get it. They're already there in So they go ahead and buy. I've already got a call in the office. He's already got three of their presentations set up, and I'm delivering them off of it in the middle of Does that make sense? See, so sometimes it'll also help you close deals in the deal because you already have your board done, correct? And so when I leave them, what I want to do is, you guys ever seen these? Okay, well, I give them these. Now, we've already got the score. They've already bought and wrote them up. I give them the off I'm like, hey, I'm going to put my information right here. And I'm going to um, put the qualifications to get the aquamate, which you've already got four people on, and I'm going to do this. And then when I live your aquamate, you're going to do this, like a voucher, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing with the actual brain jet, too, for within 48 hours. We've already got that, so I'm going to actually go ahead and just give you this, and then as soon as I run the presentation, you're going to give this back to me, and I'm going to deliver you the brain jet, correct? And because you wrote down eight referrals tonight, you are going to get the power hit. So I'm going to leave it here with you. Okay? Does that sound good? Alright. Does that make sense to everybody? Does anybody have any questions? On how, on how that works? Did, there, did everybody get on the phone? In the house? Why? Have you ever tried to ask? On how to do it? Or I mean, I'm telling you guys, if you'll do that, if you'll get the customer on the phone in the home while you're there, you know, I don't know how, who's your best friend? Yeah, who's your best friend? Huh? Nicole? How late can you call Nicole? Middle of the night, right? So it's never too late to call somebody. You know, because a lot of, a lot of these people are always telling me, well, it's just too late. Nobody's home. But if it's your best friend, you can call her at any time. You know what I mean? If it's your best buddy, you can call them at any time. If it's your mom or your dad, you can call them at any time. They're going to do what? Answer the phone. So it's never too late. But the most important thing is to make a friend and do an awesome presentation. Um, get them to love what you have and then get them to write their names down and then just simply get them on the phone. You know what I mean? I just tell my customer, and the one thing I do use is I can't guarantee that they're going to get this with just eight names. So here's what we need to do we just need to get off the phone and get an okay, the actual person to say that I could come over and show a presentation and when you're done talking to them, I'll, 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 if you don't mind, I'll just take you know, thank them for allowing me to, to come over. And then I get on the phone with your friends and I set the appointment or I say, well, I don't have the office call you and set up the appointment. But I'd rather just set it myself. Just be honest, my schedule is best. Me, correct? So, <coughs> does anybody have any questions or anything? No? Yes, we do. We have questions. Okay, what do you have? <laughs> one of the problems that I've I've had and I talked to Bob about it, but I know some of the new people are probably gonna have it. 
what about if they start balking at putting the names down and giving you the phone numbers? Well, I don't want to give you the phone numbers so I'll talk to you. How do you handle that? You know what? I understand, you know, that you're probably going to want to talk to these people first. Okay? And if you write down the numbers on there, I'm not going to call them. Look, I don't want to get hung up on. I don't want them to hate me. And more importantly, I don't want them to hate you. Okay? So I'm not going to call them until you get a chance to call them. So if you write those names and those numbers down on that sheet, I'm not going to give them a call. I'm going to give you my word on that until you get a chance to do that. Because I know that we're going to do that in just a minute. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's how I do that. I, I, I tell my cousin, every customer that I'm not the person who is here to, um, you know, do all these cold calling and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like the day, back in the day, what they used to do, they used to open up a phone book and just comb down the phone book to people and get into it. I'm not going to do You know what? I don't want to do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them on the phone. So how I, how I interject with that is just that I'm not going to call them until you get a chance to. Mm-hmm. And they'll do it. I've just done that so many times, and they'll go ahead and get the phone over the phone. Okay. But then I'm also going to get them on the phone. Any other questions? No? Yes. Guys. They can average typically about 18, 18 leads per demo. Okay? So if you're not averaging 8 leads per demo, you need to get that up because that's one of the major schemes of getting all the demos that you want to get up. So how many do you ask for, Megan? Eight. I'd ask for 8 to 10, and I give them both the lead sheets. Okay. Can I see the, uh, how many people are handing the lead sheet to the husband and to the wife? Can you see a show of hands? Okay, so that's what you can prove on right there, right? So if you hand them both, you might get more things. What do you guys say? And sometimes, if I'm feeling really confident, I'll give them a third one. I'll give them each one, and then I'll lay another one out, and I'll be like, I'll be right back. To give them the idea that everybody's doing it. You know what I mean? And Because they look at that third week in their lives, but there's only two of us. You know what I mean? But that just means I have confidence in them that they know more than... 20 people. Does that make sense? And so a lot of times they'll come in and that third lead sheet won't be filled out, but you'll have a single lead. And they'll feel bad because they, they couldn't get the third lead sheet filled out. Well, we can only think of this many. You know what I mean? Because I made it so apparent that everybody's doing it. Why are you? You know what I mean? And I was confident with that. When I was a brand new dealer, my very first presentation I did by myself, um, I didn't know any different than to get people on the phone. I didn't know any different than the Greenlight program. Okay, and so when I went into the home, I just told them that my boss would be mad at me if they didn't write names down. <laughs> they wrote 10 names down on the lead sheet, and then I was like, okay, well, what we have to do is we just have to get, we just have to call them, get on the phone. So they got on the phone, they called them, and I got six okays, and I told them six straight codes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know any different. And so, you know, if you go in there with the attitude of, I don't know any different, this is my job, this is what I do, and this is what I need you to do, I need your help. And, and give them, you know, without, without another appointment, I have nowhere else to go. I've already built a rapport with them. You know what I mean? I've already built a, they already lie to me. They obviously want the machine. You know, so, and I don't, you know, and I can tell them, you know, I can't guarantee it for you until you, so we can we do this tonight. It's a sense of urgency. You know what I mean? That sense of urgency is huge, guys. Because if they don't do it then, two days from now, they're not going to do it. If they tell you, well, can't you just leave this here and I'll, I'll, I'll email it to you later? Not going to happen. Well, you can come by and pick it up tomorrow. Still not going to be filled out. If you don't get them while you're there in the home and get them on the phone, you probably won't get them at all. But if you... And here's the thing too, once you guys, another way to get more leads too, is once you guys are, once you guys have done your four presentations and you go, don't come up to me and mail out your equipment to them. Go to the house and deliver their rain bay and their offering in the rain set. Because if you'll do that and they see that you have come through with your word, then a lot of times they'll be calling you with more leads. Literally. I have a lady that I swear every time I got out of a presentation I had another voice on kept another okay. I think I pulled, I think I took fifteen demos for her. Wow. Because she got all of her stuff and then she just kept calling me with more and more and more and more and more. You know what I mean? Because she wanted more stuff. So and this is the best time to do it. Yeah. Would you say that um, when you get them on the phone right away while you're in the house, you're 